WH Renovations debuted. Everyone immediately sees what Trump put in every room to piss Obama off. The first family has been back from their 17-day stay at the Trump Golf Club in New Jersey for a few days and settling into their newly renovated presidential residence in the White House. After eight years of Barack Obama living there in disrepair without a care for the historical place, it was time to make the West Wing great again. However, with Trump in charge now, he after eight years of Barack Obama living there in disrepair without a care for the historical place, it was time to make the West Wing great again. Donald Trump doesn't do anything half-heartedly and along with ordering the necessary repairs, he did something extra which will perfectly infuriate his predecessor who is seeing the new digs and what else Trump did in the just-released photos debuting the renovated rooms of the West Wing. This new update will perfectly infuriate his predecessor who is seeing the redone digs, along with what else Trump did, in the just-released photos debuting the renovated rooms of the West Wing. The initial announcement about the necessary repairs being made included the need for a new and improved central air system. This is certainly a reasonable request as the previous HVAC system had run its course and wasn't really working anymore. While this was expected, something else noticed in the shots was not. Chilled air is now circulating through the West Wing via a new HVAC system, CBS News reported. New wallpaper chosen by the president himself is up in the Oval Office. Visitors to the White House can now see the Rose Garden better at night and top Trump aides are working out of offices with fresh carpeting and a new coat of paint. Trump takes a lot of pride in the places he lives as was evident in the luxury-drenched penthouse of Trump Tower in New York City. Every president deserves a palace, it's part of the perks of the stressful job. Barack Obama didn't leave his successor with the same ambience he initially received. While some like to criticize Trump's exquisite taste, they are now going to have to live with it knowing he customized the White House himself. The president had the honor of handpicking the wallpaper in the Oval Office, but also installed something his predecessor refused to have in the space. One room for the statement wasn't enough, so Trump had the same item placed in every room which Obama is sure to dislike. Conservative Tribune reports. The interior decoration of the White House is a topic that interests all Americans since it can reflect the present occupant's worldview as much as his taste in furniture. When Barack Obama won the presidency, for instance, one of his first acts was to remove a bust of British Prime Minister Winston Churchill from the Oval Office. One of Trump's first actions on winning the presidency was to order the bust reinstalled literally, it was done on his first day of office. But with the new renovations, the president has done more than just pick out some wallpaper. He's also lined the West Wing with golden eagles that symbolize his patriotic side, according to Business Insider. One such eagle can be seen in the newly redesigned Roosevelt Room, while another can be observed in a chandelier hanging outside the Oval Office. Before liberals get their pants in a wad over Trump spending extra cash on the renovations, it should be pointed out that this was all part of an approved budget for it three years ago, under the Obama administration. Barack and Michelle were apparently okay with living in the space they made a mess of, as they didn't get the renovations done in the eight years they were there. To make matters worse, it was of such little concern to them that a cockroach infestation started and grew in the White House while they were living there, and went completely unaddressed. Mr. Trump wanted to bring back the luster and the glory of the White House, an unnamed White House official told CBS News. He's done just that with extra touches to the newly renovated White House, bringing it back to its former glory that Obama had no respect for. The difference in these two presidents is more than just their politics, it's attention to aesthetic details and appreciation for the people's house that the country can be proud of. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.